Well, um, hello there. We are, uh, back in the, uh, zombie apocalypse today. Uh, just finished, uh, looting this, and, uh, it was time to, uh, continue on to the bigger city. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link, uh, uh card right there up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Should be. Um, so I found these buildings. Mm, looked like nothing really much, but, uh, inside, there was, um, there's actually, uh, quite a lot of stuff in there. And, um... I accidentally shot off my gun by mistake. Probably need to, uh, not be holding that out as much. Couldn't get into here, so, uh, and then I, uh, I got thirsty, and I, uh, realized that I only had one thing of water left, which I realized I was gonna need to, uh, start saving up some, uh, some water, because, uh, I was, uh, not have any left, so that was definitely a concern, but, uh, I went around these buildings, tried to get in what looked like a lab to be, um, even found a, uh, a ladder, which I, uh, I took. I also heard some weird noises coming from inside, and that's when I realized that, uh, there definitely was some, uh, things in there. And then he came out. This guy thought he could come out here and try to kill me. And obviously, I cannot let that happen. So, uh, I went up here and realized that they were coming from the ceiling. Um, not the best. Use this bandage to, uh, And then, uh, there was a lot of zombies around here, so I had to deal with some of these guys real quick. I also found a dead human, or, uh, what used to be a human, now is a corpse. I got a skeleton skull, which I dropped down to the zombies, and, uh, and found some green shorts, finally. Got some, uh, got some armor now. I just used my gun to kind of, uh, shoot them for once. I don't use my gun that often, and I realized, uh, there was quite a lot of zombies in here. I would have had to, uh... I would have to be prepared if I wanted to go in there, so uh, I decided to maybe go up here, and I broke through the window to get into this apartment building, and I looted and uh, tried to find something, but uh, this building was actually pretty empty for the most part. I even found a kitchen, which had uh, some bread, and um, which I uh, put in my offhand, since inventory is also a pretty bad uh, thing right now. I did not have much inventory. even found a cookie, which was uh, pretty nice, you know? He take what I can get in an apocalypse and uh, just uh, kind of looked around the building for uh, something I can use. I also then started thinking that uh, maybe I could uh, light the place up a little bit because uh, I thought that was how zombie spawning mechanics worked in this. Um, it's not how it works though and I, uh, I realized that it was really just a waste of time when I tried to place all those but uh, nothing I could really do about it now. And, uh, I also started wondering if maybe when I shoot my gun it uh, makes sound, which is why there's so many zombies there. And this is when I got a pretty good look of here. Um, but I was thinking that that might be a, sort of a, I may need a little more gear, so that's what I did. I even found this cool uh, thing that said some names on here. Open this up and I uh, found a pretty cool balcony and I uh, got a nice view of the city. Heard quite a lot of zombies though. I even found a bank, which is pretty cool. And, uh, then I, uh, did something dumb, fell off here, and, uh, couldn't get back up. And then I decided to break the vines, which was smart, because, uh, I wouldn't want the zombies getting up here. But I realized there was a ton down there, which was, uh, I was not going to go down there, or at least for a while. And then I just kind of looted this chick kitchen, but nothing really too much in these kitchens. There's, uh, we even found a microwave. Uh, wondering why I couldn't use it, but just kept uh, looking around. Even went into the woman's bathroom, which is uh, something I normally don't do, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Now I decided to kind of head down to where uh, the problem was. I definitely, definitely saw some uh, zombies out there. One even had a uh, piece of armor, but he also had golden pants, and uh, I wanted the golden pants, so uh, I did what any reasonable person would do and just shot them, and uh, after I shot them, I, uh, I realized he didn't drop it, so uh, that was kind of a waste of ammo, ammo but uh, it was fine. I also found out that uh, there was a lot of zombies over here, a lot, which is why I just uh, used my sweeping edge to just deal with them from out here, which worked. Better than expected, to be honest. I then got out here, and, uh, this guy scared the crap out of me, but, uh, I dealt with him. I dealt with him. They also, uh, zombies, 
have a chance every time they hit you to actually turn you into a zombie, which is why it can be uh, kind of scary. They have a chance to just like insta shot you. Which is not good. I use one of my bandages. Oh! But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of guys here. I uh, definitely got a bit worried, and uh, my, uh, my health bar was now red, and I didn't know what that meant, so I just kind of waited and uh, realized that this was going to be much tougher than I uh, imagined. Um, I was definitely a little bit scared here, but uh, I soon regened and uh, realized I would be fine. It's just uh, quite hurt. This is also when I found out um, where all that noise was coming from. Turns out it was coming from uh, the lab building, and uh, I did not want to go in there just yet. So again, I just looted, found some more bread, and uh, yeah, it was uh, nothing much, but just losing. I also uh, found these uh, potions. Don't know, I don't know what they did yet. Um, I also found this tank, and uh, I was pretty happy to see this. I tried to get inside it, and. Uh, Maybe, uh, realize that uh, I couldn't get in there, but that's after I found, uh, that there was a, uh, there was a thing here. And, uh, I went up and got into, a got in the tank. Yep, I got in a tank. I realized that this would probably be one of the safest places in the whole city. And even, uh, I went inside and, uh, I realized that, uh, I could do this. And it actually fired. So, uh, yeah, apparently it actually fired. There's also flamethrower ammunition, which is apparently what this thing is. Because um, uh, then apparently you put that in there. And uh, nothing happened. So I didn't really know uh, how to use this thing, but um, I found a lot of ammo. I've, I found a lot, but uh, I did not see anywhere where I could actually uh, could put this. I even uh, I even looked around and uh, I found this, and it was making a lot of noise, and uh, which is why I uh, I turned it off after. But it was very loud. And I also, uh, started getting thirsty again. I even found a kid. And I, uh, I hate kids, so, uh, I killed him. He was, uh, kind of mean anyway. Even had a pickaxe. Trying to get in here with it. So really was why, with pickaxe. And, uh, not let that happen. Now I was dying of thirst also, which was, um, uh, not ideal. So I had to figure out a way. But that's when I, uh, that's when I remembered, luckily, that, um, uh, there's a bit of water out here, so uh, I did what any reasonable person would do, and just uh, my bottle of water. Drank it. Yeah, I drank it. And uh, now I've drunk too much, it said. And uh, now is when zombies were starting to spawn. So uh, I got up, and... Uh, Started finding the place where I would uh, go for the night, and uh, I found this place. Um, sadly, though, there wasn't a window here, so I um, just kind of went down a little bit, which was uh, definitely a bit scary. But uh, then I found a window, broke in, found some sort of computer lab, and uh, I was gonna set camp here for the night. I even uh, I even made a, a nice little uh, campfire with when throwing a. Uh, eight sticks on the ground, and a piece of coal. I mean, uh, apparently you had to throw two pieces of coal, and then uh, I threw four sticks on top of that. And then uh, I had a nice little campfire. So uh, I had a, I had a potato to put on it, but uh, that was about it. Also heard a lot of zombies, and I uh, cannot rest, apparently, because there is uh, mobs nearby. So uh, I just kind of had to wait it out, or unless until there was no monsters nearby, but I realized that it would probably take a while, since, uh, you know mobs, they can be anywhere. So I kind of just had to wait here and wait for my potato to get done, and then uh, realized that my legs were also very damaged. It was annoying. I had slowness. 
Slowness is not, not ideal in a zombie apocalypse. I couldn't even eat because my hunger was apparently full. Um, so uh, I realized I wanted to save my bandage and uh, took some even more damage. But I couldn't eat, which was very fun. I haven't found a book here, so uh, knowing me, I just picked it up. And there was a, some sort of to-do list, and it, uh, it was pretty boring. Just get like lots of work, and I, uh, I realized that um, nobody needed this, so I just threw it out the window, like any reasonable person would do. And uh, I also found uh, some weird uh, names, very weird names, a pal and uh, a Joel's. There's some uh, very, very interesting names here. There's also another book about leaving town, and uh, some person apparently left the city, and they uh, massive amount of quarantines, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, I threw that book down, too, because uh, I didn't need to know about someone else's problems. Like, nobody cares. Um, I also uh, thought it would be a smart idea to put some uh, cobwebs here, maybe stop the zombies from coming down. And uh, I was kind of getting annoyed that I couldn't sleep, because... Uh, there's monsters nearby. It's pretty annoying. I was also annoyed that I, uh, I also couldn't heal, so, uh, I weared my bandage and, uh, got regeneration, which was good. It's annoying that I had to use the last of my bandages, but I think it's also important to be able to walk, so, uh, I decided picking between the two and, uh, realized that, uh, better to be safe than sorry. Also found, uh, found nothing else. Kind of just, uh, stayed here for the night, but... I got a little bit bored, so uh, I went up. Yep, I went up. And uh, someone scared the crap out of me. There's, uh, there's two floors here. There's a hole here, which again was not ideal. Looked out the window, but uh, looks like I was in some sort of boardroom of some sort. There's also another meeting and another book. Um, Hopefully this one's less boring. And uh, somebody has a boom box. This was a letter I'm guessing from a Karen or something. I, uh, I do not care for them, so I just uh, chucked it out the window, like usual. So um, me and my, uh, my rusty machete, we just uh, kind of just wandered, searched the remaining floors of the top, and found some sort of, I thought was disco board. Then I maybe thought that that might be blood, and uh, I was a little bit worried. Um, so uh, I just head up again and uh, just try to look on the remaining floors, found another office room, even found uh, something I couldn't read, so I placed a torch, and uh, there was a studio up here, and I realized that this might be a music studio. And that's uh, definitely happy, and I was wondering why that person was complaining about music when she works at a literal music studio. But... Uh, I didn't find anything on this floor, and I actually uh, didn't hear the sounds anymore, which was pretty good. And uh, I found some uh, sort of studio, which was uh, very cool. There was lots of levers and stuff, and uh, if only I had any music discs, but uh, I did not. But I, uh, I found this very cool uh, music studio with, uh, with, uh, with microphones, and uh, I could see the city really good from here. Um, I was trying to look for the place where I need to go, which was some sort of... PB of some sort to get a ticket to exit this town. Also saw some uh, zombies down there. But uh, now that I was far away, I thought that maybe we could get some rest up here. And which is what I did on night three. So I rested. And we were on day four at this point. I was feeling pretty good about myself. We uh, were making some progress. Haven't died yet. And then I went to the ceiling, opened up these trap doors. Or tried to, at least. It was kind of annoying. They were in a bad design. And then I realized that uh, we were on top of this building. And we were pretty high. I knew there was no way that uh, there would be zombies up here. I also got a good view of whatever this building was. Someone wrote SOS on the top of the building. And uh, I was wondering what it was. kind of looked like the thing from Jurassic Park. I don't know. Uh, but I was doubting that there was pterodactyls here. Considering the fact I haven't been eaten yet. And then I, uh, I did some uh, epic parkour here. Oh, dang. Look at that. And we're up here. Um, there's also some more computer desks. And uh, I even found a chest, which had some uh, beer. And you know me. I took the beer, obviously. Didn't want that to go to waste. <laughs> like the zombies are going to be using it. And then uh, I tried to get to the top of this building. It was a little bit awkward, considering the fact that uh, half of it was uh, broken. So I had to kind of climb up here. Jump across here, trying not to fall to my death. 
Found another uh, office thing here with a chest. And I uh, had some lemonade here. Uh, uh, I even found some golden apples, which was, uh, that was, that was useful. Also some cobwebs. And uh, this uh, actually gave us saturation, regeneration, and a little bit of nausea. But uh, overall, that was, uh, that would be pretty good. Pretty useful. Ate some bread. And uh, now that I had a lot of health, I was feeling, feeling better. Because, uh, to be honest, I wasn't feeling too good about the other time. And I uh, tried to break this window. You know, I was trying to get uh, higher up in the building. I uh, found a maybe window. I tried to maybe uh, do some uh, parkour here, but uh, failed miserably. Because, uh, yeah, we, uh, we can't get up there. But then I started wondering, what do we even need up there? Also found some blood, but then I realized that that was probably mine, because I just fell. And uh, I climbed to the top of this building, found, uh, found a book, another one, and uh, realized that my inventory situation was getting a little bit out of control. Um, so uh, that's when I, uh, I drank the milk. Um, wasn't the milk that my dad came back with, but uh, I'm still waiting for that. But uh, we found this, too, which is no more waiting. John, this was supposed to be the meeting point, and... Uh, Apparently someone was uh, trying to live up here, so he took the helicopter out of the city on his own because he was waiting for someone to come here. Um, and I was kind of annoyed, to be honest, because I kind of wanted a helicopter because uh, that would have been very helpful. I got a really good view of the city here. I even found uh, some good some chest points. I'm, I was going to try to climb that building next, and uh, I saw that uh, I was trying to look for the PD. I still couldn't find it. Still couldn't find it. I was guessing that that was probably it, but uh, I definitely cannot see any normal like uh signs that would be pretty obvious then i threw this book off the edge of the city because uh that's what i uh, that's what i do with uh, books that waste my time and then uh, i just started heading down heading down i uh, also um took a bit of damage on the way down but it was fine because uh, i got a lot of stuff and uh started uh started heading back down i also found uh this thing pressurizer offline when i hit it did nothing and I also found uh, some sort of ale recipe, but uh, nothing really happened. But I did find a uh, bottle of water. That was, uh, that was pretty helpful. And a lot of uh, beer. And uh, water. There's a lot of bottles here. It looked like whoever uh, was, uh, I presume, working here was some sort of alcoholic. I don't really know, but uh, there was a lot of beer here. A lot of beer. So uh, I drank some and uh, kind of got a little bit drunk, but... Uh, it was, uh, it was fine, though, because, uh, I was, um, I apparently drank too much. Like, I couldn't see that. I could barely see, uh, everything was kind of shaking, and, uh, I realized that we're actually probably pretty nice, you know? It's not normal. And then I saw this guy trying to come at me, so, uh, I hit him down the stairs. Everything was a little bit shaking, though. I was wondering if this guy was the one who had all that beer, and he was mad that I drank it, but... And I was back on the uh, back on the city. I was also very slow because uh, for some reason didn't let me move fast. And uh, I even found another recipe, but uh, it's not like I'm gonna make beer. Although that would be maybe kind of nice. I even found a cat, but I uh, had no fish, so um, I did not know what I was gonna do. Yeah, there's a stray cat here. It would have been useful to get a friend in the zombie apocalypse, but uh. I just had to go. I even found a bank. The bank was, uh, the bank was interesting. I, uh, I found a, uh, found, uh, some stuff that I was trying to get, but, uh, couldn't seem to, uh, couldn't seem to pick up. It wasn't letting me. Uh, I found a lot of safes, but, uh, most of them were, uh, most of them were empty. I was, uh, wondering why. And I couldn't pick up this, so, uh, I didn't really know. There was, uh, Looks like the zombies looted it all, or the remaining survivors. Even though money is pretty useless in a uh, zombie apocalypse. What would be useful is uh, meds or something. It's not like we can just go to the store and buy some. But um, even though that, I uh, still decided to go into the bank. Found a line, and um, it started there. So um, I, uh, I just uh, realized that... Uh, there's no lines in the zombie apocalypse, so I just jumped over. Hopefully I was, uh, the security wasn't on. And I had a, a little bit of trouble trying to get through this door. Had a little bit of trouble. A little bit embarrassing. It was also very dark in here. It was, um, actually kind of scary. 
While I was heading through, I also found this barrel, which uh, had uh, accordion notes of some sort. I don't really know what it was talking about, so uh, when I read it, apparently everyone wanted this guy to play an accordion. I found his accordion, I took it, and um, I chucked it out the window. Um, I don't know why, it just felt right. But uh, these desks seem to have uh, quite a lot of stuff. Not good stuff, but uh, they definitely had a lot of stuff. I even found an empty book, and what kind of sociopath keeps an empty book, let alone read books. <laughs> but I also found this other type of book, which uh, apparently I uh, also should have chucked this one out the window, which is uh, what I did uh, shortly after. I uh, also then uh, drank my uh, protein shake, because uh, I uh, apparently, again, I've drunk too much, but uh, I needed it because I needed to regen. Another HR complaint, and uh, someone was getting mad at because he hired some guy. Again, boring. Um, and, uh, I decided not actually put, throw that one out the window. I don't know why, but, uh, I was just, I guess, I don't really know. But, uh, also found a water cooler. Had some, uh, water. And, um, I've drank in too much, is what it kept saying. But, uh, just kind of looked around. Wasn't too much on this floor. Uh, I found a book. And, um, apparently people call this guy Hubble Telescope. This was by Hubble, and uh, he's reporting them to HR. City was full of carrots, I swear. Everyone's complaining about people. And uh, I uh, also found the CEO's office. I was, uh, I was, I was thinking there had to be some good stuff in here, right? Well, um, there was actually nothing. There was nothing in the CEO's office. That was, um, that was kind of disappointing. Um, very disappointing, in fact. So I decided to uh, just, um, what else loot do I need? I should just. Uh, just try to find this PD place, so I uh, started looking, and hopefully it wasn't too late, but it was definitely getting kind of dark out, but uh, I found the PD place, whatever this was, and then I realized that maybe it stands for Postal Department, I also found this kid, I hated this kid, get away, Also, for some reason, attacking in this game was very weird. But, uh, I managed it. Got some gunpowder in the process. And, uh, I decided, uh, to just head up here. Um, somebody was mad about this. There was a coward's area in here, and, uh, just about in the nick of time, I closed the door on this guy. Found the bathroom. Nothing too much in there. Um... There's really much just bathrooms and stuff in here. Just found some sort of basement. There was a guy down there. I decided to uh, not go in there yet. It was also pretty slow, so if you're wondering why I'm moving slow, it's because I could not go any faster. There was also a lot of guys in here. It was uh, it was annoying. I just kept hearing growling and growling. I, uh, I went in here, and uh, I was really trying to find this uh, place that I go to get tickets. Found this uh, weird kind of looked like a boardroom. And uh, you guys might hear a lot of growling from here on out. There was, uh, there was a lot of zombies. There was a lot of zombies. I couldn't figure out where they were all coming from, but there was a ton. Trust me. Um, it was now nighttime. I couldn't sleep. Uh, I even tried doing it, but uh, obviously there was a lot of monsters. So uh, I couldn't sleep. I was kind of I was stuck, you could say. Um... I then decided to kill these guys, and I actually did pretty good. I, uh, I did not get hit once, and another guy showed out of here, too. Guys. I also heard a, uh, ground was getting pretty, uh, pretty loud at this point. Found, uh, the second floor here. Decided to close the door, not let anyone else up. I'm guessing that all the zombies were downstairs, as there was a lot less growling from here on out. Um, Elsa was getting low on torches. Not a good sign. Not a good. Um, I found a chest with a lot of paper in it. Um, I found another chest. There was a lot of paper in here. It was, uh, it was interesting. There was a lot of paper, actually. I found another chest here. Also, uh... Found uh, some sort of pencil with sharpness one, but uh, I decided that it might be smart to just stick with my machete. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of filing compartments here. I also found an investigation room. Um, 
There's a lot of stuff. There's killers. And, uh, then I realized that this is uh, a police department. And I was wondering why would there be a ticket in a police department. <laughs> but, uh, when I looked out, there's actually not too many zombies on the upper floors. They were all down, which is why I started wondering if the ticket was going to be down there. Open this, uh, chest, and I found a travel ticket. I got it. I, uh, I actually had the ticket. And now I, uh, I thought that I could actually go back there, which was what my next goal was going to be. So I found, uh, out here. There's got a lot of stuff here. But, I was, uh, what I was really trying to find is, like, maybe another gun or something, but did not exactly find stuff. I was also, uh, I tried to wonder how I make a bandage, because, uh, I was kind of wanting that. So, uh, apparently I need eight paper and five straight. And so, uh, I actually realized that I could make a, a couple of them. Just, uh, kind of threw that down. Threw that down. And, um, nothing happened. But then, luckily, it worked, and I got two bandages. So, uh, I got one, and then I actually, uh, I started healing, which was, uh, very good. Very useful. Um, now that I could actually, uh, walk faster, it was gonna be a lot more easy to get around this place. Um, so, uh... Took one of my uh, torches as a. Uh, it was very dark. It was very dark at nighttime. What I would expect. This guy just came out of nowhere. And uh, this is also where my thing broke. I shot him though, which uh, I had second thoughts about. Because I don't know uh, if the zombies hear it better or something. Like the louder the weapon is, if they. if more come. Because, uh real zombies get like attracted this is also when i found the roof very good right i thought this was a good place to sleep in my floating bed so uh i sat here and uh slept to uh, day five it was day five now it was daytime i was feeling better um and i also found this other way i do not remember um yeah so uh now that i had my travel tickets um i uh, i wanted to head back but, uh, this is when I realized that, uh, that was easier said than done, as there was about, uh, and some guy tried a fishing rod me, which was also very scary. Um, I honestly, uh, didn't know what to do here. Um, I thought maybe I was gonna have to run or something. But, uh, I did not want to deal with this many zombies. I, uh, not want to deal with this. Look, look, look how many of them are. I still can't believe how many of them are. After looking at this again. I didn't want to get too close, because they can, uh, fishing around me. And, um, what am I going to do with that many zombies, huh? Honestly. What am I going to do? Um... When I went down, I realized that at least they couldn't get in, right? But, uh... Yeah, there was a lot of zombie noises here. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Oh my god, how many is there? Uh, I then decided to see what was down here. And, uh, there was a lot of zombies down here. There was. A, uh, there was a lot of zombies down here. I was wondering what to do here. Um. Um. I needed to somehow get back without a dime. Which was, um. Gonna be tricky. Definitely gonna be tricky. I realized that maybe I could try to get into that building. So, um. I was trying to figure out how to uh, get into this building. And then I uh, maybe thought if I get on the roof, it'll be easier because I can at least walk maybe places. So uh, I got onto the roof and uh, was thinking of jumping off maybe. But I uh, didn't want to end it all. That's not what I'm trying to do. But that's when I realized I can get off the roof. I uh, need to get away back. You know what? I might just... Uh, um... We're all over here now. So you know what? It's time. We're escaping. Come on. Come on. They were uh they were following me at this point. I uh I had to run. I had to hurry. 
I maybe thought my best bet was to get back to the suburbs. But as I look back, I realized that they were, uh, they were chasing me. Um, so, uh, I head back. Now that I have my travel ticket, we can, uh, we can escape this town once and for all. So, uh, so when I head down to the sewers, and, uh, I did not care about safety at this point. So I just jumped straight down, landed right in the water. And, um, I have my travel tickets. We had these. And, um, now with that, we could, uh, what's the city? We, uh, I was trying to figure out, how do I, uh, how do I access this thing? Because, uh, I had these travel tickets, and, uh, where do I put them? Because there was, uh, there was, there was also this place, but, uh, it was closed. The station was closed, because, uh, of course it was. Um, so maybe I could just, uh, I was then thinking that, oh, wait, there was that gate there, and I had to bring it to that travel ticket. This is the thing in the first episode, so, uh... I went up there and um, went back to that mansion. All right, we've made it to this. We have ourselves our travel tickets. And it is now time to finally go.